Joining BYU Sports Nation now, making her debut on the show, as a matter of fact, is BYU freshman setter, Alohi Robbins Hardy. Alohi, aloha. How are you in Oklahoma City? I'm doing great. It's great here. It's great here. What was your reaction when you saw that final kill from Jen Hampson go official and you knew you were playing for a national championship? Uh, I have no clue. Nothing went through my head. I was just... It's a great feeling, um, speechless, pretty much. In that moment, is it find find a person to hug? Is that the the number one goal as soon as that happens? I think I think that's the main goal is just find someone to hug or just get in that pile. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's not overlook the fact, Alohi, that uh, your two career starts have come in the elite eight and the final four. What did your coach, Sean Olmstead say to you and get you ready to play in arguably the two most important matches of your life? Uh, well, he, was just, he just made sure I was ready and um, just ready to play and go out there and do my thing. So that's what I did. How did you do that so well after having zero starts and then you have these two huge ones? How did you do that? Um, I think it was just more for the team, you know, just getting in there and um, doing what's best for the team and just did you helping have us any get better. Did you have any nerves at all, Alohi, in those two starts? No, I would say I didn't. How much credit do you give the Olmstead stash to all of this? Oh, they they are a huge part of this, you know. <laughs> I guess it's not a very great thing, but, I mean, I don't <laughs> even know if he likes it. Yeah, I, I don't think he likes it, which is, which is this. <laughs> I want to go back to the last point. Jennifer Hampson gets blocked, and instead of going out to Noble, switching it, you go right back to her. What was that decision like in that moment? Um, I... I just heard her, you know, she's calling for the ball, and I, was, I trusted her, and I just gave it to her and let her go with it. Alohi Robbins-Hardy with us on BYU Sports Nation, celebrating a Final Four win against Texas. Alohi in Oklahoma City as the Cougars prepare to play against Penn State tomorrow night. When you're setting for two All-Stars, All-Americans like Jennifer Hampson and Alexa Gray, that's got to make you feel a little bit more comfortable about your job, right? Yes, for sure. I I definitely trust them um, to do whatever they want and kill the ball, you know. Just help us out on the court. Now you prepare for Penn State uh, tomorrow. What kind of challenge is that, and how loose and confident do you guys feel? Um, I feel we're pretty confident. Um, I don't think it's any different. It's just the next game we have to focus on. And it's one more game closer to our goal. Freshman setter Alohi Robbins-Hardy with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're live in Miami. She's live in Oklahoma City. And all of BYU Sports Nation paying attention to the Cinderella run that BYU women's volleyball is making, as Jeremy mentioned, playing Penn State tomorrow. Alohi, you're a dual sport athlete, uh, much like Jen Hampson. You play basketball and volleyball. What is it like to manage two different sports at the Division One level and all of your schoolwork? Um, it's pretty difficult, but I've been able to handle the semester and just with school and stuff. So it's it's hard, but I'm able to do it, and it, I love what I do. So. What kind of reaction did you get last night from friends and family or otherwise on uh, Twitter and via text and all that? Um, well, my phone kind of blew up. but <laughs> Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I love the support I have from the islands especially and my family and my friends. Who gave you the best reaction? Hmm. That's a very good question. <laughs> Probably, probably one of my uncles. What did he say? Um, he basically said like he had no words, and he just so it's just a blank text. Great That's job, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and finally, we'll ask you. We, we talk to Jeff Judkins on a regular basis. We think he has a great personality. We, we know you've obviously had conversations with Sean Olmstead and all of your volleyball teammates, but uh, have you heard from Jeff? And if so, what did he say to you? Um, yeah, he actually he texted me as well, and he he just congratulated me on, on the win and wanted me to know how great of a job I'm doing and that he's proud of me. So I love him. And he, do, he doesn't want you to forget basketball, right? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can forget basketball until Saturday night. <laughs> And then you can play a game on, you're playing a game on Monday, right, against Utah State and basketball, women's hoops? I hopefully will make it out on Sunday with them, but if not, then I might not be there. But I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, we, we, will, we will make an exception for you, Alohi. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, great to talk to you. Good luck tomorrow night at the national championship game against Penn State. We will all be watching from Miami. And, and we give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. We would karma. like to deliver you the karma that our show uh, brings with it that we gave to uh, Sean Olmstead. Okay. <laughs> it's a real thing. All right, Alohi, great to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow night. All right, thanks, guys.